Hey guys, welcome back. This is Little Craft Gaming. Join me for another Crafters Corner playthrough. Today we're continuing the adventures of Grimjaw, the X Blade Warlock. Now, when we last left Grimjaw, we. Well, we sort of left him off in solitude. He did his own thing. And, um, you know, we did a little bit of a quest. We went on a bit of a diversion. We went into the mind of a madman. Uh, luckily, we did come out in one piece, and I saved you guys the hassle of the journey, as it were, from solitude to where we were, uh, or solitude from where we were to where we are right now, pursuing the Daedra quest, a Daedra's best friend. Apparently, we're supposed to collect the Rufal X with Barbus. Now, um, here's the display that latest new piece of sweet loot we got. This is the Weberjack, Artifact of the Man God, Shield. Old Uncle Shield, alright? Uh, also, we got this cool new loot over here, alright? And uh, that would be the Jigalax Sword. Now, I think this is mod added. Uh, huge amount of damage. Haven't had the time to enchant it yet, or maybe I don't really want to. I may, I may just pass this on to my follower. You can make better use of it. Actually, you know what? Think I think I'll do that. Yeah, 77 damage ain't too bad. Not too shabby. Um, that said, uh, we also have... Right, so I've also done a little bit of cleanup. And, you know, I did sell most of my stuff. Or some of my stuff that I deemed weren't necessary anymore. Uh, nothing, no new loot to show you guys except from Warbajack. So, that's it. Let's just buff up and get on with the show, shall we? And we're gonna have a slice of apple pie, some flat stat boost, where is my wine? There it is. And uh, maybe we'll go with, oh, that's a lot of cook saber, so let's just go with the cook saber cap. Right. You gotta stave off the weight as it were. All right, we'll do the manager save when we go inside. Oh, yes, weapons, of course. Let's, let's get our weapons uh, checked up. Uh huh. Uh, I don't know, may, maybe we may have some use for this. So, we're gonna charge that up. Empire Greatsword, Wallen Drum is charged up. Empire Greatsword, that could use a charge, to be honest. Unless a charge. There we are. Alright. And how are we on the gems, by the way? I remember buying a few gems. But, uh, let's see now. Ooh, not too much. Not too much indeed. We got like three pretties. No lessers. That was the last lesser that I used. Um, we got common soul gems, so that's a good thing. And like five common soul gems. I gotta start gathering some souls. Luckily enough, I've had the foresight to actually craft a few health potions. So we've got quite a fair amount of health potions. Weak. Potion of health 35 in fact. Now let's see if they sh get showed up over here. Weak potion of health. Here we go. Yes, it, it, it shows up. So we got quite a amount to tap on uh, for backup. Right, let's get it. Lime Rock Barrel. Okay, as always, let's get a mandatory save on. Because you never know. I'm just going to expect more vampires. Because at this point in time, it, I'm quite convinced Clavicus is a thing for vampires. It wasn't evidence before. It's probably evidence now. After what we think. Okay. Whoa. Not vampires? Okay, not vampires. Of course not oh, Why? Oh, it's the mage. It's the mage. It's a boss fight directly? I, I wasn't prepared for this. I really wasn't prepared for this. Uh, this, this is not helping me at all. Okay, looks like um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more. Let's see, a weak sort of endurance. Um, Alex of Fortitude. Unfortunate health. That should heal me up. 
uh, another leak question about what content is happening. I am about to die. Like, just got hit from the get go. Damn. Wasn't really expecting that. Um, luckily, I crafted up. I mean, there's no other way to say this. I actually crafted up, which is why I'm surviving right now. I need to be at least half life, I guess. If I ever want to make out of this thing alive. And, uh, no. Can I? Probably I can. Maybe I'll just go straight for the mage. Oh, he's got a good vantage. He's got a good vantage. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing, but... Okay. Ah! Alright, 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 alright. Did he die? My boy died. Vampire for the win. But where's uh, he's alive? All right, cool. Running out, running out of stamina. It's probably going to be a stamina based fight. The dog do the tanking. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. Assaults. Okay, that fight only went well because I had an indestructible dog. Now the question is. Do I really want to get rid of the indestructible dog? I mean, there is absolutely no reason for me to go around and, you know, just give the dog back to him. I probably want to keep the dog. Do I want to just raise Sebastian Lord instead? Oh, where's the axe? When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner in a cell yeah. next to mine. Of course, of course. Wasn't right. Yep, yep. Wasn't fair. It wasn't. Boo hoo, you had to go through shit. Cry me a river. Anyway, uh. No. No. No, not, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. However, I'm wondering. Uh, what if I used a different necklace? Say if I used um, ancient not amulet to fail. Amulet of Wootrad. Can I enchant this thing? I can enchant this thing. Area 45 minions. Friendly conjured creatures within 10 feet get 25% attack. Not really vanilla friendly, but something, I guess. Um, King of the Lost. An immortal ghost fights for you. It has 40 points of stamina and health. So this is essentially a tank, a free follower in a tank. Not bad. I mean, if I if I were to sort of, you know, res corpses, it's the same thing. Recharge weapon, six points. Okay, they're not not that great. Absorbs health based on level from enemies from seven feet. Okay, that that is something to consider. Oh, so it depends on the soul gem strength. I get it. Okay. So the larger the soul gem, the larger the area of coverage. Um, I don't know. I'm sort of. An immortal ghost fights for you, that's 58 points of health. 38 points. So it's the same same deal then. Um I don't know. Do I want to? It's the amulet of blue thread. Why would I want to wear the amulet of blue thread? Uh, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, well, you 
probably can use any plain old amulet that would come in the game, plain old necklace. You know, this is a modded setup, so amulet of Uthra, it makes sense, I guess, companion and all that. But I'm gonna, I'm not sure, right? So, I really am not sure. Um, we may have to make that decision at some point in time later. But yeah, for now, I think we're pretty much done. We'll just probably have to head back to... Um, we'll pick up the axe and we'll just head back. Yeah, nothing too much to contemplate about. So let's, let's do that. Okay, let's pick up the axe. It hits ignore 25% of the target's armor and have a 10% chance to critical strike. That is an awesome loop. I, abjuration. Takes for low abjuration. Causes undead dragon priest and lose significant amount of health and magicka, and can also remove the curses. This is pretty awesome. Sounds familiar. And let's see if that. Goes. Okay. Is there anything else worth of value inside? I'm sure places like this must have value. Ah, there we are. Place to rest. A conjuration skill book. As you guys know that I have a mod that uh, allows me to just take skill books if I have my hands raised. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Alright, searching the barrel. Uh, a fair amount of ingredients. Alright. Yeah. Oh, gold. Always could use gold. It's a huge amount of books. Oh, small animals. A huge amount of books over here. Unfortunately, none of them are skill books, so... I don't know? Maybe I won't take anything. Darkest Darkness, Tell My Inquiries. Uh, it makes some, something tells me that maybe if I was on another character that's, you know, a bit studious, I made uh, I'm a little clever this vile. Yeah, so as I was saying, if I was in another character that actually, you know, just, you know, was a bit studious, you know, deals with a lot of spells and stuff, I may actually take uh, the books, but for now, this character, he doesn't need much books, he's... Oh, this is nice. Hey guys, we know what this is, right? The minute we touch, the minute we take this, you know what's gonna happen. We're gonna go on another quest. And to be honest... I don't think I'll be ready for it. Way too much of magic users in that one. <sighs> oh, here we go. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreeth. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Oh, that's nice. Meridia sounded, le sounded less depraved. That's actually awesome. Now, let's check out the Amulet of Clavicus vial. What does it do? Uh, I know for a fact that the Amulet of uh, Volundrum allows me to deal double damage while taking the same amount of double physical damage. Clavicus Val, on the other hand, doesn't do anything. W why? Okay, I, I don't know. Do I put it on? Does it do anything if I put it on? Any magic effects? Maybe. Uh, 45 followers. That bring a 45 follower Malaka. No. Nothing at all. Alright, you know what? I'm going back to my other um, amulet. What is that called? The amulet of the warrior. All combat skills increase 10% faster. Yeah. It's kind of where I want to go with that. Okay. Cool. So, loads of books. Not touching any of them. Save for one or two. And uh, just for the fun of it. 
Let's see if I can res uh, our friend over here. How are you too powerful? Am I using the correct spell? Ah, there we are. Did I ever tell you I spent half a year in the dungeon? Took three companions to haul me in. Don't know. Okay. But I reckon they had good cause. Probably. They probably had good cause because, you know, you're a mean man. We all know you're a mean man. Alright, let's, let's check out the weapon. Um, what is it called? It's an axe. Hits 25% of the target's arm. Can I enchant this by any chance? I'm not sure. The original enchant, if I remember, the original enchant was uh, absorb 50 damage or something like that, or drain 50 damage. Something along those lines. And I can't. I cannot enchant that weapon. Okay. All right. At least let. At least let me have a cool spell effect or something. No, that's it. Just, just that. Just that. Yeah, you know what? This weapon is so not worth it. I probably will not be using this weapon. Um, it's just not worth it. No. So, onwards to Clavicus then. Alright. You see that? That place? That place is the place that I would probably have to go at some point in time. I don't know, I may not take this character to that place, or I may, depending on how and which artifact requires involvement, right? Um, I'm trying to make this as vanilla as possible. So, well, you know, nowadays vanilla does include all the DLCs because, let's be honest, Skyrim is that old. But uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah? Cool. Now, uh, we gotta go to Clavicus Vile. That means we gotta go back all the way to... Where is that now? White Run? No, not White Run. Bloody hell. You're just sending me all over, aren't you? Um, so here's the thing. Even if I do go back to... Even if I do go back, right? Even if I do go back to um, to solitude, and then you know, essentially take the uh, take the transport over there, um, it's still going to take quite some time for me to get to Falkreath, then from Falkreath to you know, sort of bypass Helgen and walk over all the way there. Or even if I were to go to uh, White Run and just try to you know hit to Helgen and get over there, it's going to take some time. And I don't want to do that to you guys, because this is a rather short battle. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break my rule. I always have a rule of not fast traveling in most games. This time, however, I'm going to break that one rule, because it's just not worth it. It's a fetch quest, okay? And you guys tuned in for at least some interactivity or some connection, right? So here we go. I'm going to fast travel to Hema Shin. How? Magic. Don't ask why. It, it just, that's how it is. It's scary. Alright, it's the night. It's in the night. We're here at Hema Shane. We don't know exactly what it is we're going to walk into. But, um, you know what? I'm a bit hungry. Apparently my character is a bit hungry. So, let's just have something to eat first. Uh, a good cooked horse steak would be nice. Some leeks, you know, for the um, help. What do we do for the apple? Maybe just one apple. Alright, and uh, some wine. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, must Kevin. One more time. Do we really have to go through this entire thing again? Please don't tell me this place has been reset. Please, please don't tell me this place has been reset. 
I really don't want to do this all over again. I mean, I can understand if. Um, oh, thank goodness, it's not reset. just make our way through it loads and loads of uh, yes of course you're feeling tired I mean you just completed astral journey traveling through space and time through the magical portals of Skyrim where does it come where does it go where indeed I do not know okay now um here I think I could go underneath here then I have to head over to this one where there should be a machine exactly all right thankfully no response no troubles we're good we are definitely good let's go in Okay. Going in. So far so good. No fighting, no clashes. No vampires jumping me. That's a, that's a good sign. It's gotta be a good sign. Tunnels, windings, snaking. And finally. Here we are. Here we are. Alright. You've got the axe and my dog. Splendid. Stop pushing me, you dog. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Now fulfill the end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Yeah, I know the axe sucks and the mutt's way better than you. So, no deal. Take the axe back. Huh. You're no fun at all. Because I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. Oh, yeah, go. Shoo. Scrap. With the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. There's a whole world just waiting for me. Alright. Well, it seems. I knew I could trust you. Ooh. The dog yeah, stopped me. Yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Yes, yes. Just get over here, Mutt. Don't hey. worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you. Now you trust me. Alright. Oh, that feels so good, huh? You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. Now, as for your wish. Power, was it? You can be part of a tremendous power. All you have to do is let your soul be absorbed by this axe. I've never said it would be your power. Oh, fine. Have my burn and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Alright, well... Seems we have leveled up and we have gained a new artifact. Now, what is that? Um, the Mask of Klepkas Val. Well, price is 30% better. Thank you very much. That deals with a lot more issues that I have in terms of, you know, geeking out the better price. Speech skill increases by 10. All attributes regenerate 25% faster. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So it's a 25% flat boost to regen. Which means stamina, health, everything regenerates super fast. I 
think I'm gonna be wearing this for quite some time. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna end uh, the playthrough here. I will probably join you guys. So if you guys um, like what you see, all right, and uh, you wish to be, you know, you wish to sort of follow up more, uh, you know, you wish to sort of, you know, feel free to check out the rest of the adventures. There should be a card in the top right hand corner. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I hope, you know, you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, stay safe, have fun. All right. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just have fun. Ciao. See ya.